Hi Gems and welcome back to your blah, 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 blah. Hi Gems and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a quick review of a new foundation product that I just got from Sephora. Yes, Sephora, you can find this in Sephora, which I was super excited about. Um, a black owned fashion fair. Um, you guys, they started selling their products um, on Sephora.com. I'm not sure if you can find them in store, but I had a coupon. Um, I think all of us got a coupon for 20% off all foundations up until September 20th. So I took advantage of it. This retails for $37. Um, and I love foundation sticks um, in the winter months. Not so much in the summer because I just feel like they're too thick and they'll like melt off. I did grab the shade Suede Silk. You get about 0.32 ounces of product. And it's just really pretty packaging. The only downside to this is uh, because I am a melanated individual, <laughs> I can see this white matte finish getting really stained and getting nasty pretty, pretty quickly and getting ugly. So it may not sit on the vanity um, on display like other bottles or other compartments that hold foundation because it's gonna just look really dingy and ugly pretty quickly. Um, let's read a little specs, a little bit of specs about it. Um, it does say that you can apply the foundation with a brush or a sponge, dab directly to the face, build coverage as desired, and then you can finish with a setting powder. And then it also says the stick can be used as a concealer to diminish darkness and discoloration. Let's see, is there anything else about it? Not really. Um, and the reason why I picked Suede Silk is because I did the foundation finder on Sephora.com and my best matched foundation is really an Estee Lauder double wear. So they matched me to this based off of being um, neutral undertone gal. So I haven't prepped my skin. I just did my normal like everyday eyeshadow look because I am about to go out to dinner with excuse me my girlfriends and I keep it pretty simple so instead of using a moisturizer something a little too thick or even using like my normal moisture surge I'm going to use my Estee Lauder advanced night repair a girlfriend of mine is a makeup artist and she highly highly suggests it I typically use it as a night serum but with a foundation that's on a stick um, serums are really nice bases to use for blending purposes. And plus it says on the um, box that you can use this with the Fashion Fair Fabulous Priming Serum. So serum bases are really nice. And plus this one's going to give you a nice hydration, but not clog the pores and not cause me to have excess um, oils. You dig? So that's what I'm going to use as a primer. And then I'm just going to go straight in. I am going to use a brush to apply the foundation. And I'm going to go in with my Smashbox Blurring Foundation uh, brush. <laughs> and I'm just going to pull it up and apply it on the outers. Okay, it looks a little... It looks lighter. Trust the process. I do have some other foundations that apply like this. And then oxidize and gets a little darker. So let's see what happens here. And then I'm going to go ahead and buff it into the skin. Yeah, it's actually a really good match. Went on the head and buffed it in. I really don't want a heavy coverage, but it's definitely buildable. It pushed into the skin nicely. It's not very oily. Um, and I believe the description online said that it was matte finish, but it's definitely a good match to my complexion. Yeah, I really like it. Um, so what I'm going to do is finish the rest of my face. Um, let's look at the time. It's 6.47 p.m. So, oh my God, did you guys see that? That's so cute. I didn't know that that did that. Okay. 
All right, so let's look at the time. It's 6.47 with first application. Um, I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my, like, makeup routine and come back with the finished look. I'm going to do a wear test, and then I'm going to come back on later on this evening and let you know my final thoughts. But as far as shade, it matches really well. Okay, gems. Um, I finished my overall foundation routine concealer I didn't use any contouring but I did use a powder to set the foundation my under eye setting powder my overall face powder I used was it is the L'Oreal infallible 24-hour foundation this little ooh, <laughs> this little number here and then I set the entire face with my morphe setting mist and then you know I just have my fan here so um, now that I'm completely finished it's 7.04, you know, I'm a quick girl, in and out. And I'm headed out to dinner, so I'm going to jump back on later on this evening and let you know how the wear was. First impression, just off the break, I, this is beautiful. Like, it is flawless. It's really, really pretty. <laughs> like, I'm trying to find other adjectives, but it is gorgeous. So, get into it. Um, and just for quick reference, you don't have to wait again, but like, I'm in suede silk, which is a neutral undertone shade um it, it was giving me a little bit of an issue like wind, winding up but that could just be like a little defect quality assurance people but i'll be back on later on this evening i'm gonna let you know how everything held up stay tuned all right you guys it is 11 12 so how many hours was that just under four hours yeah or just over four hours but here's the final look um you guys it was 77 degrees outside look at this it's stunning i don't even know what my lips look like after eating and kind of sipping on some cocktails but it's flawless i keep looking in the viewfinder like look at my skin Wow, fashion fair. Um, so overall, highlights. It's definitely a matte finish. Um, set it with a setting powder. It works really well with other products because um, I did use um, a different brand for concealer. Um, as you can see, like my highlight is still intact. My skin looks really good. Um, I can see some peek through of some problematic areas. But I decided to only do one layer. You, it is buildable. Um, it is transparent because you can see it like on my, the collar of this like jacket that I'm wearing. But I mean, I'm wearing white. Like, what did you expect? Um, as far as colors concerned, I'm in the shade Suede Silk. And like 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Like, I'm warm because I've been drinking. <laughs> And I still feel like the areas that are shiny still gives me like a very healthy glow. Oh yeah. So next week, no. Oh yeah, I'm going out of town next week. I, I'm going to take this with me. Um, I'm going to take this with me on my trip. No. I think what I'm going to end up doing is I have another event on the 7th. It's like Jazzy Summer Nights and it's an outdoor event. And you guys, I'm going to try it again. But overall, like first impression is, is a really good impression. Like it looks good. It looks good. So if you guys have any questions, make sure to comment in the uh, box below. I'll make sure to list all the details in the description. Make sure you like, you share. And if you haven't already, you need to be subscribing. Like what are we doing here? But until our next video, mwah, bye. Always keep an eye on the